let's start with what has played out in Buffalo over the last couple of hours. Sean McDermott saying that Stephon Diggs is not at the mandatory minicamp. Diggs' agent saying he will be at the minicamp. Where exactly do we stand right now on Stephon Diggs? Well, I mean, where we stand is that Diggs was at the minicamp, but appears to be no longer at the minicamp. This is what I just got from Buffalo Bills a couple minutes ago. He was there yesterday. He was there this morning. He did meet, it sounds like, with Sean McDermott, and then he left. Uh, so it's like it's kind of like the uh, the Seinfeld where stands is like, I was bald. Like, he was right there. <laughs> and now he's not there. And so I guess where we currently stand is not there. So I, I tweeted it out earlier. Diggs' contract got redone back in March. They flipped a bunch of his base salary into a signing bonus. So he's got a $23 million signing bonus that he already collected this year. I don't know the exact payment payout structure, but point being, it's already been converted. They have so much dead cap that it's not a tradable contract. We've seen Diggs, you know, quite frankly, tweet his way out of Minnesota before. I'm just trying to figure out what's the the action item. Like, what would Stefan Diggs possibly want by blowing off the mandatory minicamp. Yeah, I mean, I, what, whatever it is, it's a point. He is trying to show something, and maybe it's just that he's frustrated. Maybe it's how many targets he gets. Maybe it's the way things are being drawn up for him. Like, there are certainly some options here. Hard for me to imagine it's money. He's got money. He's got a new contract. He talked about being with the Bills for a while, or for, to end his career. We also saw at the end of, I guess it was the Bengals game, right? Some sort of theatrics on the sideline, a little bit with Josh Allen, some sort of, sort of indicating that maybe all is not 100% well. Um, didn't, re- didn't talk to reporters after the game, which doesn't mean a lot, but I would say something. So clearly there is something that he's not happy with. I would also say this, Tom. Uh, it's June, and if you're going to be annoyed about anything, June is a fantastic time to be annoyed about something because that gives a lot of time to make it right. And when it only costs you $99,000 to miss the entire three-day minicamp, not the types of numbers and signing bonus uh, collection that can happen if you start holding out uh, in training camp. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.